Oh, thank you very much, Richie. And it's that time of the year again when 20 celebrities will be put through their paces in the MasterChef kitchen. And we'll be chatting to three of them later in the show, including comedy legend Paul Chuckle. Now, he can make us laugh, but can he cook? McFly's Danny Jones. We know he can sing, but can he serve a souffle? And will she bring us a taste of Italy? Yes, it's the one and only Nancy Delalio. Can't wait. Let's welcome tonight's guests, Danny Jones and Paul Chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> So both, we're going to talk all things Celebrity MasterChef in a bit, but of course we had Alex there talking about tonight's game with the Lionesses. You, Danny, apparently very good singer, but also pretty oh. good football player. <laughs> well, I'm a try-hard footballer, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry, mate, you know, but like, I, I enjoy it. Um, yeah. I'm getting to the age, so <laughs> listen to me, I'm getting to the age <laughs> now where I'm getting injured. Oh, you know, yeah. every time I play. That happened to me when I was, like, 25. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, got to push through it. It's, yeah, you got to push through it. But, no, I love football. It's massive for me, you know. Um, yeah, I love the competitiveness of it and seeing yeah, the too. lads and that. And, yeah, and the feeling afterwards is the best, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's, like, absolutely knackered. Have you, oh, seen, <laughs> have you seen Danny play? I actually haven't seen him play oh, yet, right. no, no. I'll tell you what, that soccer was good this year. Tom Grennan scored an absolute cracking goal. Didn't he? That's my Tom. dream goal, I think, that. He Tom's was a good on player. Yeah, about yeah. Him, yeah. Wasn't he? Yeah. He, uh, yeah. he got his ankle taken out by Patrice Ever in the end, but yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, was worth it, I, I still go on about my cross to Shearer in like 2006 or something. You know, I'm still holding on to that. Don't one. forget him. Don't forget <laughs> him. Uh, but you had actually hopes of being a professional footballer yourself, didn't you? I did. I played for a fabulous school team. Um, we'd never lost a game for three seasons. Wow. And eight of the team turned professional, and I got injured in my last season there last, last year at school. Oh. So the game was over for me. But uh, loved football, yeah. still do. Aww, a new see, career started. Yeah, you right? made, yeah. went on to make people laugh. Exactly. Yeah, but I could have had a full career because I was 39 when we started Chuckle Vision. So. <laughs> <laughs> I remember to that. That's a fair point. point. That's a fair point. Yeah. Uh, anyway, another competition gripping the nation very soon is Celebrity MasterChef. And Danny, Paul and Nancy Delalio will all be putting their reputations on the chopping block. So, before we talk to them, let's take a look at them in action. I did a lovely dinner the other day. It tasted gorgeous, but it looked like something the dog had thrown up. Cooks for the band the other night in the studio while we were making our album. And I, I had empty plates, so that was a good sign. The idea that I'll start cooking very shortly does make me quite tense. I already feel the, how to say, the butterfly in my stomach. John, Greg, I love you. Oh, stop trying to get brownie points no, I did. back there. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Oh! <laughs> of contestants and we have to say a big welcome to Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Lovely to see you. You too. Now, you know what? Both Obviously, of you. <laughs> well, you've got Italian roots, Nancy, so I'm thinking that you are going to channel Nigella kind of cooking. You're going to be fantastic. Am I right? Well, you have to watch and see. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Are you good at cooking, though, Nancy? I imagine you get a lot of takeaway. I mean, I don't know, but I'm imagining. Uh, well, <laughs> I know this goes with imagination because Italian, because from the south. But I, you have to say that I spend a lot of time between America, and London. So let's say it's not the best room in the house for me. It's not on top of my list. My cooking. Right, uh, I'm so watching. Uh, only you could get away with that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you get a lot of takeaway. Yeah, anyway, no one else is getting away We're with that. We're all thinking it. Unbelievable. Somebody needs to say it. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> no, no, you're spot on. Just typical Jonesy, brilliant. <laughs> uh, now, Danny, uh, Paralympian Kadina Cox, yep. she won it last year. Mm -hmm. uh, bit of a bumpy start, don't know mm -hmm. if you've seen it, but she actually found out in the end that she's incredible at desserts and really enjoyed doing yeah. them. Is there anything mm -hmm. along your journey that you found, I'm very good at that, don't give me that task. Absolutely no that. nothing. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> there must have been something. Um, yeah, anything, basically, anything I could see in the pan, you know, I was, I'm in control see of. See it? Yeah, see in the pan. Okay. Like, I can see it and I'm in control. All right. Um, like, anything in the oven is terrible. Once I can't see it, Watch I forget it. about it. Oh. Out of sight, out of mind. So you know? timing was a bad uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you, I don't know what you were like with them machines now, but I've never, you know, the machines that you like have to turn on and that. Fridges? <laughs> what <laughs> yeah, type know. of machines <laughs> are we, we talking about? You know, about? them whiskers. Yeah, a whisk? Like, that, yeah. like a food processor. <laughs> <laughs> the blender. I went to turn it on and they just both popped out. I mean, 
mean, I, yeah. I don't know, but I'm not feeling we have any of the winners with us tonight. I don't know. No. Hey, no, no. <laughs> now then, what about John and Greg? Because, you know, oh. they they can be pretty tough in their criticism. <laughs> I mean, lovely boys, but they can be quite serious. They are the great guys, both of them, but it's, it's like you feel like a naughty school kid when you go up and present what you've cooked <laughs> to them. And you're standing there waiting for them to talk and you're going... Oh. Panic sets in. That's the only time you feel a bit panicky, yeah. don't you? Yeah, it is. Fine yeah. cooking, yeah. fine doing it, thinking yeah. it's going to be great, but then as soon as you walk forward, yeah. oh, panic, panic, panic. What, what, what the like are you, Danny? Because I mean, you're both jokers. I can tell you like having a bit of fun, but I'm, we I'm like guessing it comes a point where oh, time to be serious as well. And how did they take to you, though? Yeah, I don't know. They're, I mean, you know, we had a lot of fun, didn't we? we I, I mean, I, I was a massive fan of the show to start with. And I was like, I'd love to do that one day. And, you know, to get the chance to go in that kitchen is incredible. And it was, wasn't it? We had, a laugh. we had such a laugh. Yeah, there was pressure, but I feel like you, you sense their presence when they walk near your table. Yeah. Especially John, and then Greg would crack a joke and he'd be like, oh, OK, it's all right, everything's all right. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I think when, when it comes to serving up, that's when you feel it. Yeah. You know, you're serving up like that, you know. Yeah. But... Little hands shaking. Because you want to do well. You're there. Yeah, you're of course there you do, otherwise well, why are you there? there? Um, now, Nancy, I know you don't mince your words and you didn't agree with some of the judges' comments. Can you give us an example? What happened? Did it all kick off? No, they're very, very nice, actually. Let me say, let me say hi to both of my two lovely contestants. <laughs> they are fantastically good cook. Mm, lovely to see both of you. Um, and that uh, we had, definitely we had a lot of fun. Now, John and Greg, they are they're very intimidating. Um, about, they were exactly how Danny was saying, they, they were a joke and Johnny more, much more serious and Greg was taking more, um, apparently light. Um, uh, well, with me, uh, one thing it didn't, it didn't, uh, I was surprised that he didn't know the process, uh, how we, we make it the dish that I can't say anything in Italy. Uh, but then I have to say, all the judgments, they were very, they were very fair. Yes, they were nice and I, surprising, but they were, they were nice. And we, um, about the one thing, um, I disagree. Okay. okay. Yeah. I can't tell if it went well, that dish. Let's just say it was mm. al dente. Yeah, al dente, undercooked. maybe. Al but dente. you have to watch the show. Right, OK. <laughs> You're selling it, Nancy. Um, now then, Paul, what was the atmosphere like in your heat? I mean, you know, were you competitive? Were you helping each other? Was there a friendly atmosphere? It was Absolutely. We were, like, two naughty school friendly. kids at the back of the class. And we did help yeah. each other, didn't we? No, we did, I yeah. Remember it was, clearly it, going across yeah. and saying, how's it doing? All right, coming back. Yeah. But that's nice, isn't it? It was great. It was nice, nice. yeah. It's nice to yeah. have people on site. And we got on with Faye. Faye was there as well. She was a good laugh. Yeah, she was, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. We helped her. she helped us. She was she was good at desserts, wasn't she? Fabulous yeah, yeah, at so. dessert, yeah. You know, Rubbish it was great. everything Absolutely. else, but fabulous at dessert. Aww. It was so much fun, because, we're, we're, you know, we're all in it together. Yeah. And, yeah. and it was... You know, such a pressured environment, and yeah. to try and have some fun in there. You know, we, I think we did that. We achieved that. For we sure. certainly did. Uh, um, Nancy, thank you. I haven't seen you for ages. You're still as entertaining as ever. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> thank you very much, Nancy. Thank you. Nancy. Lovely to see you. Hi to Paul and, and Danny. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> nice to uh, see you. Celebrity Masterchef uh, starts on the 10th of August, which is in two weeks tomorrow on BBC One. Uh, and if you can't wait that long, previous series of Celebrity Masterchef are available to watch on the iPlayer. Now, it's been a big day in music because the shortlist for the Mercury Prize was announced. The Mercury Prize is regarded as British music's most prestigious award and is given to the best album released in the United Kingdom by a British or Irish act. Now, last year's winner was Arlo Parks. Previous winners include Ella Bow, who, of course, played at the Queen's yep. Platinum Jubilee concert, didn't they? Danny, I know you're excited to see Sam Fender on the list as well. Yeah. Um, what do you think his chances are of, of picking up this uh, prestigious award? Well, I hope they're pretty high. I mean, he's done some amazing things recently. And for me, you know, representing guitar music in, you know, a commercial kind of environment is really good, you know, for us as well. He, yeah. You know, he's helping us out and, yeah, I speak to him on a social sometime and just big him up. And yeah. I, I, I believed in him from the start and I just, it's just so nice to see him do so well. and. Play huge shows. He's just helped. Had, has he done his own festival up in Newcastle? Yeah. And yeah. The, you know, he took his Brit Award back to the local the pub, pub where he yeah. started, and that resonated with me because I started in open mic nights and pubs and stuff like that. Didn't take my Brit back to my pubs, but I should have done. <laughs> um, but you know, it's just amazing how like he's. Um, yeah, I mean, I love Harry as well. Worked with Harry in the past, yeah. and he's a great guy. So, you know, any of those two, I'd be. Um, yeah. 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 
Well, Joy Crooks, oh. uh, we wish everybody the best of luck, don't we? Yeah, we do indeed. And the Mercury Prize will be broadcast live on BBC Four and Six Music on the 8th of September. Well, we have had some messages in. Now mm. then, Peter says, absolutely wonderful to see the legendary Paul Chuckle on the one show. Why hasn't he been made Sir Paul Chuckle? Paul and Barry <laughs> got me so many laughs throughout the years. We Love bow it. down. It'd be very we nice. do. Thank we you. do. We we're do. Back, back, back. Uh, I've got a message here for you, Danny, as well. Say hello to Danny from his old football manager, Philip Shuttleworth from Bromley Cross <laughs> FC. <laughs> no way. Uh, yeah. Hello, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. Get your bail to Bolton for me. You never know. You never that's know. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, well, that's it for tonight. Thank you to our guests, Danny, Paul, and of course, Nancy. We'll be back tomorrow and joined by Oscar winning actor Daniel Kalula and Watchdog. Yes, and don't go anywhere because the lionesses are up next. Come on, England. Oh, yeah. Bye.